all of the skyscrapers that you see here are actually built using a bamboo scaffolding. And all across town, you'll see bamboo being used um, to, to fix things. Every year, over 5 million bamboo poles are brought into the city. And using very simple rules of thumb and body dimensions like shoulder heights and leg heights and a very simple knot, uh, they make all these fantastic structures in a very short amount of time. In addition, bamboo is used extensively for cultural festivals, uh, Cantonese opera. So every year when there's no COVID, around 40 of these structures are being built, temporary theaters are being built across the city um, to uh, be used for temporary uh, theaters uh, for religious festivals. And here you see a simple diagram that shows the logics behind how uh, these structures are built. Now, unfortunately, this trade seems to be dying. Fewer and fewer people want to go into the bamboo trade. Um, so at one point we were commissioned uh, after a competition again by the government um, to design a bamboo event space in uh, Hong Kong here, basically on top of that wooden uh, deck that you see here, uh, aimed to showcase bamboo's potential. And where bamboo really stands out from any other construction material is that it is perfectly made for bending. It's basically a hollow pipe that is reinforced by diaphragms along the way. So we decided to work with uh, spring particle uh, simulation engines, to which allow us to basically simulate exactly how a curve would behave if it were to be bent or how a network of curves would uh, behave if they were to be bent. So we decided to make the natural behavior of bamboo our uh, design input. The challenge was how you then balance out the material variability. Um, so these are sections of bamboo poles with exactly the same specification. Um, so you can see, imagine if your steel structure uh, comes with such a dimensional variability uh, when it arrives on site. So we had to fundamentally rethink how uh, we can work with it. But so what we did is we worked with exactly the same traditions and techniques that bamboo scaffolders in Hong Kong work with, but we expanded their craft a little bit and arrived at a totally different design outcome. Um, so how did we do that? This is the final project. We started off with a group of students by making a physical model uh, series to come up with a tectonic system uh, behind uh, the project itself. And then once we had an idea of the, the topology that we wanted to work with, we brought that into a digital simulation engine um, where we basically created the, the spring particle setup. We gave all the geometry the similar behavior that you would find in a, in a straightening uh, member. And then we pressed play, added all the forces to it. And from the system, the geometry of the pavilion emerged um, without us actually drawing it. So we didn't draw all of these curves precisely. We created the system and then let it find its own equilibrium using the same forces that you would find in, in, in nature, basically. 